guys welcome to the next video and in this video i will show you as i mentioned in the previous video that i will introduce the if else over here within the reduce and lambda so the basic idea is that i let's say i don't want to use any aggregation function or anything over here but still i want to identify the maximum value with the help of if and else all right so how i can do that so over here we have a simple max underscore value is equals to reduce x comma y so what we are saying that if x is greater than y then x but in this case the x will come here so we need to start reading it in a little bit different way that give me x right give me the value of x only if the x is greater than y else give me y right so just to reiterate what we have done we have taken the value of uh, list over here in nums which is over here and then we are passing each of this value in x and y and we are returning x if value of x is greater than y that means each of these values are getting checked and 10 is getting checked with 20 then 20 is getting checked with 22 25 and then 10 35 and so on and so forth it's kind of an iteration which is going on and returning x if x is the maximum value otherwise we are returning y all right so let's go ahead and execute that and let me execute this and now i get my maximum value which is 35 so that's about how you can further extend your uh, reduce function which you have already used the lambda and now you are also using the if else to provide more conditions so this is just starting but you can think like not only if else like if l if else to have the multiple nested if statements to get the desired output as per your needs